Oh, I hope this is good lighting. I hope it is. Hi, I'm James Light Jr. and this is an In Between the Pages special. Ooh, my voice just went high. And I'm not going to change it because this is life. I'm at home. It's day, for me, day 24 of being self-quarantined, not being out there in the, in the universe. <laughs> Um, been here, so I'm going a little crazy, but I'm fine. Um, but I recognize I have kind of an anniversary of sorts, um, and this relates to the writing world and books and writing. As you know, I'm a published author over 20 books, and I have more coming out, and I have two of my latest in my hands right now. My uh, Facebook book and my poetry book. So, these are, so I went from, I have having books out now, to starting somewhere and I was reflecting and I was like, wow, I've actually been a writer for 40 years. Me at the age of 10 and 11 is when I started writing my first stuff outside of like school stuff. Um, I was inspired by, I know this is kind of cheesy, but I was inspired by the soaps back then. I was inspired by Dynasty Dallas, Knott's Landing, um, and on daytime, I was inspired by uh, General Hospital at the time. Luke and Laura was big, all that kind of stuff. Um, I was inspired by all that, all that writing, all the drama, all the suspense, the action. Uh, it was very attractive to me, and I wanted to write those stories. In high school, my, my best friend at the time, Bryant, and I um, started writing a show called Elegance. We actually didn't you know what we were doing. Like, we didn't have any formal training or nothing. I mean, besides being in school. But we started writing um, our own kind of scripts. I haven't found those. I think they got lost in a fire, I think. Um, but I found I was writing a spinoff because I was a big Di a Dallas Knott's Landing fan. Uh, Elegance was more of his thing. It was the 80s. That's why it's called Elegance. It was all about that. Um, but I started writing West Destiny. That was the spinoff of Elegance. And we were going to have characters from Elegance come on there and, and cross over and uh, big deal, and I found some of those recently when I was going through my stuff. I was like, wow, uh, I was like, interesting. But in 1980 81 is when I started um, my journal writing, and I have all those journals, I have them all in a box. Uh, and I looked at them recently, that some of them are mortifying. Oh my god, all the emotions! But I kept journals for about 20 years to about 2000, 2001. Um, then I picked up a few, did a few in the 2000s. I did a few in the last five, ten years here and there. Uh, now I'm writing books, so those books are kind of being my, are like on my journals. Um, but yeah, it was all about documenting my life. And I'm going to do something with those journals at some point. I want to. But it's all writing. And I read some of those journals from back then, and I, I was very descriptive. I wrote down everything, not just the emotions, but the surroundings and who I was talking to. And... I really, and, I, and that's, that's where my love of writing has come from. I just love to write. I love doing term papers. My first term paper uh, was on koalas. And I actually, a little fun fact, my mother got me a brick in the koala house here at the LA Zoo. So I'm ready to go visit it one day. When we get back to where we can go start visiting things, I should visit and take a picture in front of it so I can find it. Uh, but I was big into koalas. I love them. And I did a great book report. That got lost in the fire. I used to have it. And I, was, I thought, one day I'm going to publish this term paper on a koala bear just because it would be kind of fun. Um, but yes, I'm now a published author. I started the Really Short Story Project. And out of that, I have the Really Short Story spinoff. I have the Really Short Play Project. Um, I have now, I just, as of today, I just signed another uh, author. I have about eight co-authors who are all writing their own stuff, writing stuff with me. We're going to do this whole collective of this whole process of short story writing. It's been a lot of fun uh, doing that, and I'm, and it's just a dream of mine. I never thought um, that I would I'd be doing this. And I'm, and I'm also thinking about, um, because now you, you expand and you grow and you change, these are all under my GLG Media la label, so I'm not thinking, I wonder if I should do it, make an actual imprint um, for my books. So that's what I'm thinking about right now. That's kind of a... That's kind of a a thought, so I don't know yet. But I might just be on a JLG media, I'll just do it that way. Um, but it's great. And I love that I can actually put out stories that I want to see, poems that I want to read. And of course, my phone's ringing now as I'm sitting here. And this, is, this is life, folks. I'm, I'm, leaving, I'm leaving this all in because this is life right now. Um, when you work at home, I have a ring light over here. You see my, my computer back here. It's my office, my big giant TV right here. 
Um, and I'll probably be writing about this. That's what's ironic. This whole strange COVID-19 outbreak, I will probably be writing about it. So I'm going to uh, um, continue writing as long as I can. I love it. I have ideas all the time. And I love collaborating. So I just kind of thought about that. I, just to, I was just kind of thinking about that. And I wanted to share that with you. And please share your writing stories with me. If you've been writing for a while, when you started writing. If you're an author who wants to be on my show, please contact me. I talk about all different kinds of authors. All different kinds of genres. I want to showcase you. Uh, so let me know. I am at James Lodge Jr. everywhere. And the In Between Pages with James Lodge Jr. is on JLJ Media on YouTube. And then everywhere on streaming services. It goes to iHeartRadio, Deezer, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. It's everywhere. So go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, share, rate. Um, and I'll see you next time.